Today is a huge day for me because it's the day I find out that I'm not actually crazy for going all in with this Chia network. You know, my family thinks I'm actually kind of smart now. So the price is finally starting to rise. It launched pretty high and went down, which it wasn't really a surprise to anybody, but it started going up pretty dang quick. And you can see we're up 90% and it's already over $1,000 for one Chia. This is just mind blowing. So we're gonna be talking about why this is and what we should expect coming up soon. So we actually have a really special announcement. This video is sponsored by none other than Western Digital. So if you want to get in on the Chia network, it's certainly not too late, but there are some things you have to look out for. So this is Western Digital and you can use my short link to get stock. So calcur.tech forward slash HDD and that'll link to an in stock hard drive at the time of this recording. But as I've shared in earlier videos, the one of the really popular tools is to use a USB drive like this and it is completely out of stock. I mean, people are just flocking to storage right now. It's crazy. So the next best option is to get a hard drive and these are still available in 16 terabyte and 18 terabyte which is fantastic and the availability is a little slow right now but you know better than nothing at all so check that out if you want to take it a little bit seriouser is that a word seriouser i don't know you can go for one of these network attached storages or even oh, freaking that thing's annoying <laughs> Am I allowed to say annoying things about my sponsor? I don't know. But this is a Thunderbolt 3 connection. So those are just some options. So you can use my link and get whatever you need to start with Chia. So if we take a look at this one here, for example, you can use this inside of a typical computer case. Often you'll have room for an extra extra hard drive, or you can check out my Chia build video on what I did with external hard drives. You can even get enclosures for the hard drives so you can plug them in USB, which is another great option. So again, you can check that out, calcur.tech forward slash HDD. All right, so what is going on with Chia? Well, I think a really big thing right now is that Chia showed up in CNN, which really just brought it to so many new people's eyes. I didn't even read this, honestly, so hopefully it's good news. <laughs> but I think this is what really could have done it. Next up, we have Amazon. Look at this. Amazon offers mining in the cloud for new Chia cryptocurrency. So users in China can set up on AWS to farm Chia's XCH cryptocurrency. This is insane. <laughs> Setting up the system takes as little as five minutes, according to a page, AWS's Chinese website, that has now been deleted, as reported, blah, blah, blah. You get the point. Essentially, this gives people essentially unlimited capacity and potential with the Chia network. This is huge. I don't know why the page, I don't know why it says the page was deleted, but we do know that Chia is going insane in China right now. So this is crazy. Sorry, I'm just kind of excited. I don't know. <laughs> All right. So let me uh, show you one other thing. Another reason that it may have the price was driven up possibly is that Bram announced launch for pooling, the pooling protocol anyways, currently the 17th of this month for both plot to pool and a pool prototype being out. So what in the world does that mean? Well, starting the 17th, you can plot two drives that can be pooled to pools later on or still being used solo. And these can be moved around from pool to pool. So it becomes a much more predictable system. The fact that people know that this predictability is coming and there's a lot of hype around this network probably is driving the complete demand for all these hard drives out there. So the website that I'm using to take a look at Chia prices is gate.io and I have an affiliate link for this calcur.tech forward slash gate.io and I haven't used this a whole lot to be honest what I did was I was able to transfer my funds to my wallet here and that worked just fine and I even bought some chia as you can see it's part of my uh, balance I have not withdrawn this chia and 
when I initially did this, I was thinking, oh, I could just withdraw. I don't have to KYC since I was using crypto. But I have been told that you do need to KYC in order to withdraw the Chia. That being said, this could be a good tool to get started looking at the Chia prices or trading and possibly buy and sell Chia. So I encourage you to check that out. Beyond this website, you can check out Chia Links, which has a lot of other listed services, and also Coin Market Cap, which you know is like the go-to for for cryptocurrency prices. So honestly, I thought I had a lot more to say, but I wanted to elaborate a little bit on the pooling. Basically, I told you guys in a previous video that I would either create a pool or I would partner with a pool to offer a basically coin breakthrough approved pool. Well, I have a really, really awesome announcement probably coming out Monday. So if you're excited for pooling and up until this point, you're not sure if you would have made it as a solo farmer, there is hope. So stay tuned for that video on Monday because this announcement is going to be awesome. So other than that, I uh, don't really have much to say. So thank you everyone who supported me in this Chia journey so far. As for what I expect the prices to be in the near future, I don't really want to do any price predictions. And like I said, none of the stuff on this channel is financial advice. But I think one of the limiting things of Chia is the its availability. It's only available on a very few number of exchanges. But the amount of exposure it's getting on CNN, for example, that is going to drive adoption. And once it is more widely adopted, I think people will see its value. And ultimately, I think the price could go up even higher. I'm personally holding on to my Chia. I haven't sold any. Um, I don't want to sell any. And the next question is, what about hardware? Am I planning on investing in more Chia hardware? Well, realistically, I'm probably going to be doing some different builds on this channel just to show the different options. You know, for example, if you wanted to use something like a network attached storage here, like how would you actually do this? So those are the kinds of things I want to talk about on this channel. So I'll probably just be buying a bunch of random hardware, using it for a video, and then see if I can utilize it. But as for me investing in a larger Chia system, I'm probably going to personally wait until the pooling is enabled because I already have like 16 drives that are filling. So I have a little bit of time before I need more capacity. And I don't want to start plotting heavily until that pooling update. Now, if you are just getting started, I'd recommend you just start right away, start plotting because there's going to be a pretty decent learning curve on figuring out how to plot quickly, any kind of issues that come up. And basically, there's now going to be this, this same kind of rush when mainnet launched. Everybody wanted to start plotting as quickly as possible and even before then. And now it's going to happen again which with the pooling update. Basically, people are going to wait until the pooling update and then start plotting like crazy. So you want to basically be prepared with the storage, which, you know, if you're going to buy something, buy it relatively soon because some stuff can take time to get delivered. So you want to be ready for your storage and your plotting setup. So what tools to use for that? The computer, we're, we're going to get into what kind of computer setup to use in future videos. Basically, you can check out my Chia build video if you want some inspiration on what I did. But even since doing that video, there's a lot of changes in the stock of different parts. So you might need to be a little creative or use that basically as your basis and adapt as you go. So what I want to hear from you is what do you see the price of Chia going to in the next week? for example. And stay tuned because, again, Monday we have a pretty awesome announcement. I don't want to spoil it, but I think everybody here is going to be really excited. Stay tuned for the upcoming content, and I'll see you in the next one.